This is going directly to where he is, though, I think. Oh, so what is up, bosses? It's your boy, Boss Fabbod, and welcome to Ravenbrook's Nikki's Torment. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Five Nights of Freddy's X Hello Neighbor fan game, and that very much so intrigued me. So the game actually released quite a while ago, so I just completely did not know that this game existed, which is a bit of a shame, but I have seen that the developers are very much so updating this game and adding a bunch more stuff. So this could be a really cool, like, mini horror series, one that we just come back to like every two or three months or something like that. And yeah, this seems really interesting. So I kind of didn't want to know this, but I am aware, I forget what the neighbor's name actually is, like Mr. Mr. Something. It's not Mr. Wilson, I just know Mr. Wilson because that's what Jacksepticeye used to call him and then everyone started calling him that name as well. I forget what his actual name is, but like he apparently is like an... What is it called? Animatronic in this game, which I'm very excited for. Press tab. Okay, press levers while hiding closets, hide under tables, I guess that means? Oh, I can't hide under that one. Oh, it kind of is, yeah. <laughs> it's very much so like the art style of Hello Neighbor and like the movement and stuff. Very nice. Let's go. Let's see what the Five Nights of Freddy's section of the game is going to be. Such a cool idea. Like, I don't think anyone's really tried this before. Yeah, it does work very well. Like, the screenshot I've seen of the animatronic... I keep wanting to say Android for some reason. Of, like, the animatronic looks really cool. We have doors around here. Do we once again need keys? I guess. It's so weird. So can I actually hide... Oh, I can, yeah. Oh, it's E to hide in the closet. All right. Kind of goes a bit staticky like that. Okay. Is it going to be like the Hello Neighbor sound when he chases me? If he's going to chase me, he might not chase me. Who knows? Might, like, be more scripted events. I think I'm just going back the same way again. I think this is just... Okay, yeah. I think that's just like the starting area. There is a red key. Nice. I need to be quite close to them. Maybe that's something that needs to be looked into. A lot of them do hallways at the moment. So I've got a red key. I think I saw a blue lock before, right? So I guess there's not really any point to go back to there. Might as well just like continue to new bits, try and find like a red lock somewhere. Not too many closets around, so Jesus Christ, I've just realised how freaking floppy my left arm is. I kind of, yeah, kind of do just need like this torch. I mean, the torch isn't that amazing, to be honest. So I probably should just keep it on. Not currently any downside for that. Okay, blue. Wait, I just got a blue. No, I got a red key. Oh, there we go, the red lock, so I can go in here. And I could also go in the other place. Okay, it did say something about the levers, so the levers are quite important. Okay, I've got the red and the blue key. So is that saying, like, maybe there's three levers? Three levers that need to be pushed. And there are three... Yeah, there's three keys. I've got the red key, I've got the blue key. Oh, hello! And there's one more. Okay, I need to toggle crouch. Look at that, though. How cool. Okay, that's the green lock, I guess that is. So if I'm running like this, he's not going to see me. Okay, so I need to be relatively close to him for him to be alerted. This is going directly to where he is, though, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. There's a closet here, though. Somewhere. Oh, he's lost me anyway. Okay, but he was down this way, so I can go down this way now. Hopefully. There's a clock there. He shouldn't be down this way, yeah. Because if he was chasing me, he would be going back up. Perfect. There we go. It's probably... Is it more important for me to try and get back to that? Where's that? I don't think I open that. Try and get... Okay, try and get back to the blue door first. Because the green door is just back that way. I just spat all over the freaking microphone. Lovely. The green door shouldn't be too difficult to get back to. Which is just literally back this way slightly. Just he is here though. I think it's... No, it's not there. It should be just here on the right. Yep, there we go. Nice. Actually takes a while, like you need to get relatively close to the door to actually see it. There we go. That should be done now, right? I have all of the three levers, well, all the three keys. I don't necessarily know if there are three levers. It says I can hide under tables as well. Okay, he's over there. I don't know where I go now, so I guess I will just go back over this way. I don't remember. Can I interact with these again, actually? Let me double check. It suggests I can, but it doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Did I see a lava door or anything? I can't remember. 
I mean, there's bits like this that might have a hidden door. Like, it doesn't suggest anything's happened, right? Or right here. Okay, there we go. Where was that then? Oh, it was right here. Okay, so I guess, yeah, I just never... Oh, I probably saw that. I probably just about saw that. Just didn't see it in, like, my peripheral either. Well, nice. They had a neighbor soundtrack. Awesome. What have we got next, then? That was very cool. I guess that was a... A nightmare. Someone dinner's ready. Hello? Lizard man? How are we doing? I don't remember... Is that it? Oh, man. Yeah, that's actually it for now. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, it's very, don't get me wrong, it's very good. Very freaking short, though. So I can show you guys, never mind, I can't show you guys that screen because it's just gone by itself. So it says that there are Easter eggs to find in the game. I guess I'll just have to do all of this stuff again. There we go. Nice. Yeah, this game is actually really cool. Like, I'm glad that they're going to be updating this game more. Well, obviously, we didn't really see him that much, so we can, I guess, get his jump scare. We can see what these Easter eggs are as well. It said something about look for Easter eggs there as well. I don't know where I'll find these. I don't think I found any the first time through, so I don't necessarily know where these things are going to be. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Right, I, I mean, I, I guess I can get your jump scare. Right. How are you doing? Jesus Christ. I didn't realize you were going to be right freaking there. I got kind of, I guess, quote unquote, lucky the first time. I didn't really see him for like the first three quarters of it. So I can hide under this. Or is it just, yeah, I press crouch and then I can hide under it. Okay. Where are these Easter eggs going to be though? Like I see some bits of light there. I don't know if it's going to be something like, oh yeah, you can go through certain walls. I don't necessarily know though. Or is this? Oh, he's watching you. That's something that I missed the first time. Also, I'm probably dead now. Right. Oh, great. Oh, that's very cool. Is he... Oh, hello. He's right there. That's great. All right. Bye-bye, uh, Mr... Jesus. Not remembering your name is freaking annoying me now. There's a... Uh, oh. Here we are. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm right. Brilliant. It randomly generates. Because there's now a door here. The hell? Okay. So the doors randomly generate, like, their location. I don't know if that means, uh, like, what's in them changes as well. Yeah, because, like, the green door used to be right here. Very strange. I wonder if that means, like, the keys randomly generate as well. So that's just the same thing. But the dev did say Easter eggs. I don't know where... Oh, this is something. Great. I mean, he's freaking chasing me now, so I can't do much with that. Oh, no. I might be dead. There's no freaking closets around here. I'm dead. Why are there no closets? Where the hell? Where was anywhere to hide there? Jesus Christ. I've just realised I've actually gone to the game without picking up anything. Okay, yeah, it does seem that, that that's the same thing every time. I mean, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll beat the game without picking up the freaking torch or the instructions of what to actually do. Why not? Probably going to be the only person that's ever done that. Oh, well, I found this door, which is very helpful. I can't find the other freaking doors, though. So it's actually quite difficult to beat the game without the freaking torch because you cannot see anything. And there we go. So I think that's everything. Oh, actually, is he here? Buddy? Neighbor? Oh god, he's not gonna actually stop me from going in, is he? Oh, whatever. We can leave him. I was hoping, like, he'd just chase me up here. It would be quite funny. But yeah, there we go. So I think that's probably everything. I don't know. We could interact with the TV. We could interact with, like, a weird painting thing on the wall, and it just starts doing, like, a song of Hello Neighbor, like a parody song, potentially. And then, yeah, like, we have lizard eyes watching us in one of the rooms like we do right now. 
that's probably everything. Let me know in the comments if I miss anything. I will come back when the game updates. But yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to end, I guess, the first episode. We're starting just a bunch of, like, uh, series at the moment that will just come back whenever it gets updated. Yeah, the first episode of Ravenbrook's Mickey's Torment. As usual, there'll be a link in the description to watch it yourself. But for now, hopefully you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for our brand new lesson boy, boss, bad boy. Thanks for watching, boss, and boys. Peace.